Okay, right here you want to go north. Or go through the little gate that's the only, the only gate that is there right now. Here you're going to talk to a lady, I'm not sure what her name is, can't really remember. Like I said, you can't, I can't really see it and you can't really see it. It's been a while, it's... I can't remember what happened in the game. I really didn't pay attention on reading the story. Well, I did in some of it. I didn't pay attention to the people's names. And pretty much just the dialogue is the only thing I paid attention to. I'm sorry, yeah, there's a lot of talking in this thing. That's what makes that's what made this video really, really, really long. It's because of the dialogue in it. If it didn't have this much dialogue in it, it wouldn't be really all this bad. Go save. Once you save, this is, you're getting pretty close to the boss, kind of, I should say, not technically, but you are starting to get a lot closer to it. Once you are done saving, you want to go to the west, I don't know, to the east, my bad. I wasn't really sure what to do, so I was just going to check around, just to make sure everything, just to see if anything, if I could do anything differently. So I decided to go to the east, because it was the closest spot, and the closest to the safe spot. Once in there, you're going to find a monster laying down in the center, as you can see in here. So I ran. I didn't really know what to switch to because I already had nothing for it to attack. But I did use the side to go with the volcano. That thing really didn't help me out that much. So I really didn't know what to kill it with. So I ended up winning with the kind of second little mini boss of the first level for Kent. I tried the other ones first, my bad, before I went to him. Once you get that, you just pretty much just thrash them, beat them up with it, and then once the, the power goes right again for him, his soul, you want you're gonna want to grab it. Now you have his power. Switch it fast. Get rid of the little goblin dude that you got from the first one that you use as attack, like the main like little little attack. Because this one that you just that you get from this level right now works a heck of a lot better, and some and I'll stun some of the dudes also if possible. Keep killing them. Like I said, you want to clear out the whole entire area. Cause one for better, per better for you to explore, and two, you get more experience points for it. It's good to have a lot of experience points because you level up a lot faster, and you make your monsters a, a lot stronger too, and you become a lot stronger yourself. And your health is your health bar raises, so you don't die so fast. And you can tell I just leveled up one of my monsters' attacks. Keep thrashing your way through there. Go up top, and there's gonna be a couple of chests. I didn't get anything out of there. I don't think I cannot be never because I think I messed it up while destroying those. Try not to get hit like that. I did. I got messed up. <laughs> Again, I am sorry if you cannot see anything or if you cannot. Yeah, if you can't see anything, I'm sorry, and I'm sorry that there is no sound. But that's just in how my cam, my webcam works. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. But I got someone calling. Okay, never mind. 
And no, I'm not in the closed environment, in, in closed area right now in real life. So yeah, that's the reason why you hear the telephone ring. I was looking at the book and I kind of forgot that you guys won't be able to really see it. To get there, you push start and you push L. L1 or R1 or R2, I can't remember, one of those one, one of the shoulder buttons to go flip through your items and your monsters. As you can see, you can check out your monster list, you can check out your books. Excuse me, sorry about that. And you can check out your status. Not your status. Well, sorry, I had to keep it like that because I forgot because I had to go to the telephone at that time. Destroy the monsters. Once the monster is destroyed, you would want to go through the gate and go to the next area. At some points in the games, I would not attack monsters so I can get the level done and over with. And I was kind of on a strict time limit on this, so yeah, I was trying to get done with this video as fast as possible so I could put it up on YouTube, which is going to be up here in a couple minutes once this is all done, once the video is done. Once in upon this room, you face another volcano and you got a lot of warhawks. Use your monster from the first chapter and thrash around them to get, to get rid of them. Once you do that, you can suck up their souls and you can use that one monster that you got from the room that we were just at. Take the volcano. You have to be careful from his blast. Try to go behind him as best as possible so he cannot attack you. This is your best bet and best safest bet. As you can tell, if you look up at the top right corner, my my green bar was starting to go down. But as you can tell, looking at the screen right now, that I just got the dude. Well, I tried to at least. I kept getting killed. I kept getting attacked by the warhawks. It's best to get rid of, like I said, it's best to get rid of all the other little ones so you can so you can kill the um, warhawk. Well, so you can kill the volcano, my bad. I'm gonna get rid of the other ones, his little buddies, so you can attack him. But I messed up and I accidentally killed, killed him instead of getting his soul. Because I kept getting attacked over and over again. There is a certain time limit, there's a certain amount of tries you can get for it before you just keep getting attacked and doing it that once you finally attack him, it kills him. I'm not sure if I did this, but if you could, before you could continuing on, you would want to go save your game because the next part in this level is going to kind of be hard. But I know for when I did it on a lean side, it was kind of hard for me. It's best to it's best to do levels run right after another, like do Ellie and then do Kent's same level, so you get so you know uh, what to do and what to expect. And that's why I did for this one. Save your game and can continue go back to that area that we were just at. You want to save too because it heals you if you cannot find any health in the game at that time. And I am sorry once again because since it is New Year's, I'm getting a whole bunch of phone calls. I went to go to the west side just to check it out, just to see if I could get through it by killing it. There's um, one of those barricades that you can use to break through and it'll give you some stuff but I don't got the I don't got an element I don't got one of the animals that have that element symbol and destroy it well the element colors to say so if that happens I go to the next level I just best thing to do is just leave there and just go back up north like wait like in that same room that we were just at this video is going to be any soon so I'm going to be starting the next video up here pretty soon and help you guys out